Good morning. You guys will have a uh, prosperous and passionate week. Um, there will be um, some days full of uh, enlightenment, some days of new perspectives, perspectives, and new perceptions. <laughs> There are going to be days of even complacency. But listen, those days are only to bring you closer um, to clarity, to clear out confusion. Okay? All right. So that is the message. I see what the Holy Spirit has for us today. Thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all comments, and y'all subscriptions. All right, let's we got impatience. Okay, all right now. Listen now. Listen, listen, Linda. Listen. Somebody is becoming impatient. Uh, impatient, tired of waiting, ready to reach out and touch somebody's hand, honey. Maybe if I could just touch the hem of your garments. <laughs> Just let me smell a man. Let me sniff a man around here. Somebody is becoming impatient. And it's gossip. And there are people talking about the fact that you are of age. And you are not with someone yet. You haven't found a husband. You haven't grown. If you... It's as if they're saying, if you are who God says you, says you are, if you're following your destiny, why hasn't God given you? Look, oh my God, prayer, complacency, and enlightenment. If you are who God's saying you are, let me, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show y'all some shit here, okay? Listen, this is what these people saying. If you are who God says you are, right, this is what they saying. If you are the lemons that make the lemonade, God damn it. That's what they saying, okay? Then why isn't the divine, why hasn't God blessed you? You hear me? Why hasn't he given you one of the greatest gifts of your heart? And that is to have a soulmate. That is to have someone that you connect to. Someone that you have the same mind, the same likeness. And still are diverse. Okay? Okay then. Yeah, that's what they saying. And they trying to affect your self-worth. They trying to affect it. They trying to affect the way that you think. Trying to affect your path. Trying to make it seem as if God has left you out in the cold. Like you've done all of this for nothing. So now you're becoming impatient. You're becoming impatient trying to reach out and touch somebody's hand who you ain't got nobody business touching because that's what it's there. Reach out and touch somebody's hand is what I'm hearing. I don't know. That's a song. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place if you can. <laughs> now you impatient. Like I said, ready to reach out and touch somebody's hand. Somebody you ain't got no business touching. Which means you want to get out of line. You want to be all out of alignment with God's perfect timing. Hello? Okay. I know y'all hear me. Because people gossiping that you are of age and still have not been married or have not gotten married or haven't remarried. Yeah. Child, bye. Ain't nobody thinking about them folks. Who is them folks? They is a nobody. Half of them are in marriages that they don't even like. Listen, isolation. Half of them in marriages they don't even like. Half of them are in dead marriages themselves. Half of them just got married to put on the clothes. How about that for you? Half of them just got married to put on the clothes and they feeling isolated, feeling stuck. Wishing they could be you. Wishing they did have the freedom as you do. You hear me? Okay, half of them might as well be single because their husband is emotionally unavailable. So they ain't got no business talking about you or how old you may be or whatever. They ain't got no business worrying about when God going to give you what he going to give you. That's for, that's, that's, for, that's, for, that's for you to know. And for them to, to never want to find out. They need to go mind their business. Don't get me started this early in the morning, y'all. Or whenever y'all hear this message. Yeah, that is something. But honey, let me tell you this. 
it's about to be a change. There's about to be someone that come in your life, and this person is gonna is, he, he's gonna be the cure. You hear me? I'm just gonna tell you that you ain't gotta reach out and touch nothing, baby. You hear me? Because he he already gonna be on it. And there has been some type of spell work done on your love life. I'm just here to let you know. No, this is not for everybody. But for some of you, there has been something done on your love life to make love not be as accepting to you as it should have. To make you fall for men who gave you lies. To make you fall for men who wasn't who wasn't uh, um abundant. They, they they just wasn't secure enough. And, and you know they, they didn't have enough faith. You know, they didn't want to renew their mind to greater things. They wanted to continue in the tricks and trades of this world, you know, and play victim. They didn't want to heal on the inside. They just wasn't a part of your destiny. And whoever was doing this in the background, they will be dealt with. But we're not even here or there. We're just talking about the fact that you, honey, feel like you need to jump out of spot. Spot. You know, and no, you don't. You don't need to jump out of spot. Let these people gossip. Let these people gossip. You understand? Because they feel rejected within them own within themselves. They feel rejection within themselves. They feel unenlightened. They keeping up a facade themselves. They feel impartial. Okay, because they not on their road to, to, to they not on their successful destiny. They just decided to sign a contract. Okay, we can we can here go facade at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we're gonna leave that right there. Because that's what they doing. So you need to sit down and wait for this fresh start to come in. You don't need to reach out and touch nobody's hand, honey. And I know it may be frustrating. And I know that baby sometimes sexually it damn sure get frustrating, honey, when you ain't got nobody to roll over to at nighttime. But I'm here to let you know you got to be patient. You got to continue to balance out your life. You have to continue to set yourself aside so you can continue to connect to God so you can have this dependency upon the Most High to influence you in all ways to keep in, um, enlightening you. Because that's what he does. Just continue to ask him to help you hold on. To hold on to the things that he has shown you. To hold on to the things of your higher self. Of your higher value. Because baby it does get rough. You hear me. But I'm here to let you know. Baby you don't have to regret this road that you've taken. This resistance that you've put up to people. Who don't serve you no highest good. You hear me. This resistance to people who don't know how to communicate. Who don't have a great introspect on the things of life. Or the things of the spiritual realm. People who don't want to balance their life out, who continue to want to be misguided, who want to be influenced by the things around them. Karmic beings is what they are. Okay? And don't don't worry about them gossiping. Don't you ain't gotta worry about these these folks gossiping on you. Shit, like I said, because they over here keeping up a facade, they damn self. They over here being rejected in their own marriages. Why is impatience here? I hear anger is what wants to pop out. Impatience is here because of anger. You mad because these people is gossiping. You mad because you could even intuitively pick, be picking up on this. Or, you know, um, somebody probably came back and told you something. It's whatever, but it's gossip. You know, that's what it is. They don't got nothing better to do. But that's why their marriage is isolated. What I just say earlier. That's why their marriage is isolated. You know what I'm saying? All they did was get married to, to get dressed up. You hear me? Because that's that's the last time they was happy. Was when they got dressed up to be married. Okay? We're going to keep it real. They husband don't even want them. They husband lying and cheating on them. But they want to be mad at you. Because you're showing yourself unconditional love. By staying single and staying true. Until God sends you somebody. But because of this gossip. You want to get mad and become impatient. And think you're going to mess around with the wrong type of man. And that ain't going to happen. Okay? And God ain't even going to let it happen. I ain't even trying to be funny. Split the deck on ghost. God ain't even going to let it happen. These men is going to ghost your ass. You hear me? Because God said, no, nah, we ain't finna play. Y'all ain't finna be around her, and she ain't finna be around you. Because you want to be impatient. 
Okay, allow God to um, send you the man he's supposed to send you instead of you jumping out there trying to create your own justice, thinking you know some stuff. Hey, I'm just here to let you know, sis. You know what I'm saying? I love you, but I'm here to let you know. Soulmate popped up. Soulmate is out here twice. I'm here to let you know. Let God send you who he's supposed to send you because it's all news to wait. That's why it's so much gossip about why you don't have men right now. That's why so much gossip, why you don't have that relationship right now. Why you haven't started this fresh start in the relationship area. Because it's coming. You, you, you haven't never heard of when something gets nearer, that's when the chatter gets louder. When something great is near, the chatter gets louder. Even if on your movies, when you watch those older movies, the closer the king got, the more that everybody crowded around to stand around and clap for the king to come back into the quarters. Okay, you hear me? The closer he get, the more gossip is going. The closer your soulmate becomes. The perspective is what I'm leaving it on. The closer your soulmate, the closer your soulmate gets to you. You hear me? You see this fresh start that's coming? The louder the goddamn gossip. The louder the gossip is going to be about your soulmate and you. Okay, we're going to keep it real in the battlefield, baby. With perspective. At the bottom of the deck. So you ain't got to worry about that. You hear me? You just keep your, you keep your intentions high. You hear me? You keep that cat pure. I'm just here to let you know. We're going to get um, a little tarot on this before we end this out. Yeah, you keep your intentions high, baby. You keep your intentions high. Let's switch these over. Child. Nobody worried about these people gossiping about what's going on behind your closed doors. That's why they ass not behind them. Because it ain't got nothing to do with them. They need to focus on their love life. And focus on this facade they keeping up. You hear me? Instead of focusing on your two of cups. Instead of focusing on your... Uh oh, this say five. Well, at the, anyways, it looked like it was a two. <laughs> I am not lying. But for real, instead of focusing on your two of cups. It looked like it was a two of cups, y'all. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Baby, instead of focusing on your two of cups, okay? They they need to worry about what's going on in there over there. And with with they two of ones, you okay? We really want to go there. Re, you need to rebuild your shit. Because you just got married just, just to get dressed up, okay? Let's get some tarot here. Oh, so give me something on this anger. Why is anger here? Ooh. Of Pentacles, tired of being alone, tired of being content without a partner. <coughs> oh Lord, nine of Pentacles. You see that? Look at her. This you, this you. Okay, look how beautiful you are. No matter what ethnicity, look how beautiful and graceful you are. You could love dogs, somebody could love the color blue, somebody could love the color red, but look at here. You hear me? But look. Here you go. You full of anger. You mad right now because these bitches is over here gossiping. Gossiping. You hear me? You mad because these raggedy hoes gossiping. While you sitting over here looking fine as fuck. You hear me? Looking edible, baby. Delicious. Lickable. You mad. You mad because they gossiping. They gossiping because and you and, and, and you mad because you tired of being content without a partner. That's why you mad. That's why you mad. You mad because you tired of being content without a partner. You tired of it. That's why you so angry. Up at night thinking about what it would be like to have someone roll over to someone have someone hold you have someone protect you where you don't have to feel like 
<sighs> you just alone at night or just have to protect yourself. Just it's a lot that I'm picking up, but it's gonna be all right. Can I have a card on soulmates? Clarify soulmates. Ooh. <clears throat> Look, like I said, y'all, you need to be careful. I'm here to tell you right now. I done said this. It's the Page of Swords and the Magician, okay? Did you hear what I said? Page of Swords and the Magician. Now, listen. Remember I said you trying to reach out and touch somebody's hand that you ain't got no business touching? You need to leave that alone. All right? All right. Because in your anger and your impatience, you're going to enter into something that's immature and not capable of having the strong intuition and strong spiritual connection that you need 16 16 when i said that for a relationship to have this fresh start is that is not what it's not what god is manifest it's not what the gift god is giving to you is not manifesting from your higher self this person you're trying to reach out is manifesting from your anger manifesting from your lower self manifesting from your lower vibrational status you being impatient you being angry that people are gossiping you wondering why haven't nobody you know loved you because remember perspective is right here you know ooh, ooh, y'all and i picked it up commitment is right up under it with reciprocity i'm here to tell y'all I'm here to tell y'all, you wondering why you haven't had this connection with anybody to reciprocate the same type of spiritual connection, the same type of intuition, the same type of love, the same, just, you guys are, are the same, but are also diverse, okay? You know, so all of this is tying into one, so whoever this person is, you're trying to reach out to, or who is trying to reach out to you in this moment, they are not the one. The Your true soulmate who is for you is coming but this person is not the one because they are immature in the in the connection that you need them to be hell yeah they immature in the connection you need them to be ain't that something mm, mm, mm. clarify a uh, magician clarify magician The tower. What I just tell y'all. Woo, child, I cannot make this up at all. The tower. The tower. Didn't I just tell y'all? Did not I just tell y'all that this person is not who you need to be trying to have a fresh start with? They are not spiritually connected as you think they are, honey. That's just all in the damn illusion. Whatever he 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 got going on, okay. This person is very immature, and it's gonna cause your ass a lot of goddamn stress and headache. You need to stop trying to reach out and touch on that one, and or stop trying to let him reach out and touch on you. Because all he gonna do is spark up all these old feelings and ways that you had regarding love. And going to cause a lot of goddamn tower moments in your life. And you're going to have to start all back over again. And that ain't what you want. All because you mad because motherfuckers is gossiping. And I'm here to, I'm just a messenger. You ain't got to worry about them old bitches. They, they, they remember over here, they, 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 they got, for, they is creating fa facades anyway. And they own goddamn marriages. They feeling rejected and left out in their own goddamn marriages. You hear me? So we ain't got to worry about they ass um, gossiping. They wish they could be you and have the freedom that you have. Yes. You don't reach out and touch nothing. You better go sit your ass down somewhere. I'm just here to let you know. Okay, I love you. But this person ain't who you thinking. He is. This is not your soulmate. 
It sure isn't. But the person God does have for you is coming in. Holy Spirit, give me something on this, uh, soulmates, please. Clarify soulmates for me. Yeah, I just seen the Eight of Swords. You feeling like you don't got no choice but to just be like, because you getting to a, a older age. I just keep hearing something about your age. Yeah, and you feel like whoever this person is, he's romantic. Oh, yeah, he real kind and romantic, but he's also immature in his spiritual connections, too. And we uh, and he ain't going to do nothing but call towers. It's right here letting you know that. It's right here letting you know that. I heard get a new dad. I'm going to clarify. Um, Emperor on the bottom deck. I'm going to clarify soulmates before I end this. Soulmates is out here as white. <laughs> Cause baby, I'm trying to tell you, you really, you is have become very impatient, honey. But it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. But get you a vibrator. Clarify soulmates, Holy Spirit. The two of swords. You feel like there's why you feel like you're indecisive. Indecisive, there ain't no reason for you to be indecisive about nothing. You see, that's the thing. This person, that's how you know it's going to be plenty of illusions. Because you ain't never got to be indecisive about the things that God blesses you with. Come on now, Holy Spirit. The magician is out here twice. This how you know this is not who, let me tell you something. This how you know this is not who God wants you with. Because you wouldn't be indecisive. With this two of swords, everything that God blesses you with, you know. You're going to know. You're going to know. You're going to feel this ten of pentacles. You intuitively, you hear me? With this magician here, you are intuitively going to know when it's from God. When it's not from God, your ass is going to be very indecisive. All these fucking illusions. That's what this man has created with the magician of page of swords in the tower. He has created illusions to think that you should have a fresh start with him. And no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, you are not to have a fresh start. This is not your soulmate, okay? And take the roles how they resonate. You know, if, if you a man want to well, take the roles how they resonate. But at this time, somebody is gossiping. There are people gossiping. But it don't matter. You get what I'm saying? This is why. This is why soulmates is here. Because you feeling all indecisive about what? If you, you wouldn't even be indecisive if you knew for fact that it was from God. Because everything that's from God. Everything. You hear me? You have a strong spiritual connection to God and the things thereof. You hear me? Everything from God, it feels like this. It does. It does. You know this. You know that. That's your fresh start. You sitting back still being patient. With this eight of pentacles here, working on the working on yourself, working on the things you need to work on, building, building your character in God and building your character in man. With this three of cups, continue celebrating with yourself. Continue, continue celebrating with your with your friends. You don't gotta uh, rush into nothing just because someone is gossiping. And I'm about to end this message. Is there anything else you want to say, Holy Spirit? The devil. <laughs> yeah. But everything going to be okay is at the end of the day. Y'all, listen. We know that you are obsessing over being someone's counterpart. We know you're obsessing over being someone's counterpart. And we know that this man here is trying to distract you into thinking that he's your counterpart. But like I said, it's not. 
Okay, go about doing you. Go about continue to enjoy your life until the one that the divine has for you, the one that God has for you comes your way and gives you the commitment that you deserve. Reciprocates the love that you give. You hear me? Go about your way because everything going to be okay, but this man ain't it. This man ain't it, but just know that everything is going to be okay. This is the message.